saying hey. Yeah, you're the first one, Derek. You're the first one, babes. Those are cute. What you doing today, Derek? Hello, everybody. I have to do a really, really quick opening because hubby will be home soon and I got to get some, some supper on. Hi, Alice. Okay, guys, we're going to go through a couple auction wins. And from my cozy nest, Rebecca, and Autumn Grace, and Thelma. You did a premiere for what? What'd you do a premiere for? Hi, baby. Gee, my best friend in my thread just showed up. My best friend. Hi, Debbie. I was going to call you later, Deb. Hi, Crystal. Okay, you guys, we're going to go ahead and start. Because I have a lot to get through. We're not going to do the haul right now. We'll do that later, okay? My pimples. After, um, I miss you too, Deb. I'm going to hit you up later. Hi, Teresa. Okay. Um, really quick. So, okay, Rebecca had my cozy nest. Had, I always feel like my bangs are, they're so thick, but they're thinning out. I don't know. Like, they don't cover my massive forehead. Okay. Rebecca, my cozy nest, had a auction and she was like doing three dollar auctions and i'm like okay i'm gonna stack up on some things some things will be for free some things will be for listing some things will be for me so this necklace from rebecca my cozy nest which she's in casey's bible study which i am usually in casey's bible study but i have got to get this done because i have got probably 25 pounds or 30 pounds of love mail jewelry to get through um, today and be processed. Just when I'm 90% finished getting through everything else and I want to get my pegboards up, I've got to go through this now. <laughs> or I may wait. That's gonna, Maybe that'll be a video for tomorrow or Tuesday. Maybe Tuesday I'll get to that. But my Tuesday's my auction, so I don't know. But anyway, we're going to get through Rebecca. So this was a love gift from Rebecca. Thank you, babe. Just a love gift. Can you believe that? And it's got earrings that match it. That was a love gift from Rebecca. What did I do with the earrings? The earrings were right here. Right here. I was opening packages waiting um, for a Bible study to be done. It was a good one, too. But I have to get this done because I'm on strict time frames. So this matches the necklace that she gave me. How gorgeous, right? And that was a love gift. And then look at this, you guys, okay? I ordered other earrings like this in other colors. And look. Love gift. They are purple. Look at this. And this is ceramic. Are those not gorgeous, you guys? And so, you know, I have trouble wearing earrings, right? And these are quite hefty. So, one will be a pendant. And one will be a brooch. Pendant, brooch. So, and the rest of the ones that I bought, I bought for gifting and for resale. 
So, because I bought all the other colors, she sent me these, which I absolutely love. I thought somebody else bought the purples. So maybe they didn't pay and I got the purples. But she gifted me with these. Are these not gorgeous? But so I got those as my free gift. And the earrings and this that match. And then Dwayne. Hi, Todd. I know, right, Rosie or Crystal? I know. Here's the green pair. So I got a green pair. Exactly the same. Got a green pair. I'll just hold them back. And a blue pair. Hi, Perla. Sorry, Todd. This probably won't be that exciting for you. So these are going to be for resale. But aren't they gorgeous? I might just do the same thing. Pendant and um, brooch with this one, too. I don't know. We'll see. They're gorgeous. And they're only $3 a piece, you guys. And then Dwayne, who was in the chat, bought me these. He bought me these. Isn't that sweet of him? Aren't those gorgeous? See, I could do the same thing with these, although these aren't as heavy. Todd does listen to my jewelry. He works through it and he listens to it. Because he's a good friend. But these are just gorgeous. Could you imagine that as a pendant, though? Could you just, that's so pretty. Rebecca offers such pretty things. I got these for Rebecca. They were supposed to be for resale. But actually, they're so light, I might try wearing them. But I did get two pairs. I bought her, I bought in bulk from Rebecca because, um... Some for me and some for resale. But these are really pretty. These are very light. And I bought for thank you gifts too. You know I like to give thank you gifts. But these are exactly the same. Very cute. Aurora Borealis. Very, very cute. So two of the same pair. Like I said, I bought in bulk. For gifting, resale, for myself. There's a firework. What? What does that mean? What's the blowing ups mean? Debbie, it's my cozy nest slash Rebecca. But if you just put in my cozy nest, she'll come up. Oh, that's confetti. I should have known, right? And then I got these earrings, guys. I just love these. I got these to make into charms. Um, there's a little rhinestone at the top. I got these to make into charms. Isn't that cute? It's a little mirror and a little lipstick. They're earrings. I don't know. Maybe I'll just sell them like that. They're really cute, though. And then I got these. These are all from Rebecca. And look at these. They articulate. I love this. I wish I could wear earrings. I wish. Watch. They better not be you, Debbie. Hold on, guys. Is this it? I'll wait for a response. So, okay. It's the, it was Thelma. Congratulations on your selling piece. Oh, selling space. See, these uh, these move in and out. I think that's really cool. So when you're wearing them, they're going to be 
See, they articulate. I love these. I wish I could wear earrings. I really, really, really wish I could wear, especially because these are peacock looking. You know I love peacocks. I got to watch that best friend in my head or in my thread. And then I got these. Oh, my gosh, you guys. You could so easily list these for 15 those gorgeous chandelier earrings aurora borealis i love aurora borealis and a lot of people love aurora borealis and then i got these and these are hefty aren't these pretty you guys i got two pairs of these i was like three bucks a piece are you kidding me and they're i mean there's weight to these like yep stocking up my store so that was from Rebecca. And then I'll remind you of my wonderful gifts that she got me. So thank you, Rebecca, my cozy nest. Oh, yeah, that's right. You got to go look at the truck today. Well, thank you, baby. I won 438U2 forever and ever and ever and ever. Thank you, Todd, my brother. I love you so much. Is Connie in here? Hi, Connie. Oh my gosh, I'm opening up my fine or my wins from um, Autumn Grace. I'm trying not to say your real name. And oh my gosh, so she sent. First, okay, let's look at let's look at some things. She was offering this, and I can't I don't remember what I paid. I think five dollars. Oh, you did? Good job, Connie. I'm gonna check it out. But okay, so you know I'm old school, right, guys? And I come from the days of typewriters. Like when I first started my clerical career many moons ago, um, there were typewriters, and this is a charm necklace okay it's got a beautiful long chain on it and it's a charm necklace and look what's on it it's a typewriter it's a typewriter so okay i knew that this charm necklace was for me I immediately knew it was for me when it had a typewriter. First of all, oops, my ponytail. I love charm necklaces. I love charm necklaces. Not like a charm necklace that's like a charm bracelet that is close to your neck and then has everything hanging real heavy around your neck. Because as you know, I'm very sensitive around this area with my fibro. I know, right, Thelma? I love this. I can't believe I got this. I don't think I only paid like $5 for it, right? Oh, my gosh. Love this. So excited to get it. And then I got this, which this is such a gorgeous ring. And, I mean, I'm getting into big, hefty rings, guys. Look at this one. Do you really? I will check it out when I don't have my contacts in. I don't think it is, but I'll check. I didn't look for a tag. I'm getting into really hefty rings, y'all. Although this one is a 925 ring I bought for somebody else who may be in the chat right now because it's her size, and she's probably going to know who it is, but it is her size. And then this one I bought for me, which I'll probably love and then resell. So... Whatever, that's 925, but I'm really getting into the 925 and the big stuff up. The big, I'm gonna take this off. I'll show I'll show you guys this because I did buy this with a person in mind. Isn't that gorgeous? And it's her size. But look at this, you guys. This is from Miss Autumn Grace. 
absolutely gorgeous ring. Of course, I need to I need to wipe off the stone, but I smooshed it. Look at this. Look at the detail right here on the shank, okay? Or on the, what do you call it? I don't know what you call it. Whatever you call it. Isn't that pretty? That's just gorgeous. Hi, Leticia. Thanks, Thelma. Thumbs up, guys. This is that, that drop pendant that I got from 925. I got from Going on Grumpy. And I got extenders. I just got them in the mail yesterday or day before yesterday. Um, Dia sent me a link for stainless steel extenders. And then as I was opening everything, I lost my extenders. I don't know where they are. They're just in a little tiny package. I don't know what happened to my extenders. And then I got this box. And I can't remember what's in this box, you guys. I'm about to find out. We'll see if Autumn Grace wants to marry me. Oh, yes, I remember. Tell me you remember. Fine silver-plated Swarovski, Swarovski crystals. Swarovski crystals bracelet. Focus, please. Isn't that pretty? I don't know if it's going to fit me, though. But the butterfly is purple. The butterfly is purple, and it says faith. And it's got a little rhinestone. Ah, ah. Shooting pain. Just a minute. <sighs> Sorry, guys. It happens. Mm. Okay. I was looking at my window. See, it's got this little tiny... Focus, please. Okay, well, anyway, if it doesn't focus, it doesn't focus. This is Faith, and it's got another little tiny rhinestone. Hi, Lori. I don't have the patience. My head just banged on me, so I don't have the patience. So that's really cute. That's gorgeous. It's not cute. It's gorgeous. It's got the security device still on it. <laughs> yeah, I love butterflies too. And then check this out, y'all. I got to say y'all because it's coming from Autumn Grace. This really pretty little necklace. Look at this. How nice of her to send me this. Wasn't that nice? Thank you, Autumn Grace. I love this. I love this. And it's um, enameled with a really pretty blue stone. That was so sweet of her. Thank you, baby. So those were my wins from Autumn Grace and from Rebecca, my cozy nest. Now, we've got this. And I don't know, hang on, these might just be my auction wins then. Thelma, tell me, is this just my auction wins? Because apparently... Apparently, Thelma likes to use priority mail tape because look at all this priority mail tape that she used, okay? Okay, so I don't have the peacock yet. That's okay, honey. I sent yours today. I would have sent yours yesterday with your, your jewelry is inside the singer box. Thelma and I swapped. She she found a peacock in her favorite honey hole now. And I was like, chick, I got to have that peacock. Go back and buy me that peacock and I'll pay for shipping. And she's like, I hold up this little singer box. And she's like, 
hey, chick, I want that singer box. And so we were like, cool. Hey, chick, let's swap. Oh, it's okay. I use tape a lot, Thelma. I was just giving you crap because I like to give you crap. I like to give you crap because nobody in the reselling community is going to give Thelma crap. Well, but, you know, except for me because everyone loves and respects you so much, Thelma, that who's going to give you crap? I don't want to use a knife or anything to open this except for me. And everybody knows that's true. I call you an old woman. I insult you. But somebody has to. Because otherwise, you're going to like go to bed thinking that, you know. You're perfect. We can't have that. Because you are perfect. We can't have you thinking you're perfect. So these are my auction ones from Thelma. And so let's be honest. And this is what Thelma did. As much as you all know, I love Thelma, and I idolize Thelma, and I adore Thelma and her husband, and everything else. This is what the witch did. Yeah. She's a witch, and she knows it. She goes, okay, I think Kelly's going to show up in my auction tonight, because I finally sent her an email with a link. Mm -hmm. That's why I wasn't in the first two. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to have everything that she's going to want. Hi, Gianna. You found a 60s Singer sewing machine mounted in the stand for 35 bucks. I hope you better have bought it. Wow. I will be calling you later. You're going to have to show that to me. Wow. I cannot wait to see that. I've got a really old, an 1865 sewing table with the, the wooden top part that, that folds down over the machine. But I don't have the machine in it. Okay, anyway, back to this. So what the witch Thelma did. Mm -hmm, she's listening. She's probably peed herself laughing. Well, that's good, Gianna. She says, oh, I'm going to bring lots of purple. I'm going to bring lots of purple to my auction. And oh, yeah, butterflies and... 925, because I know Kelly loves all those things. I'm going to bring all these things to my auction. And then, oh, yeah, by the way, I'm going to bring some leather purses because I know the witch loves leather purses, too. So this is what I'm going to do to Mama. I'm just going to bring all this stuff that she loves and brooches. And then Kelly will just buy everything at my auction. So I spent in leaves. Yeah, the witch. I told you she's a witch. And leaves. And so what do I do? I spend 200 bucks at Thelma's auction. Yeah. So I paid your damn electricity bill for the month, Thelma. And I called her out right on her auction. I called her a witch right in her auction. And then I said, I resent you, woman. I put it right there in caps for the whole auction to see. I resent you, woman. But you look how nicely you bought. Oh. <laughs> it's nicely boxed and tissue paper. Mm -hmm. My husband rolls in the driveway. This shit's going under the desk. And you guys are getting cut off. It's a good thing he doesn't watch my, my YouTube. So, yeah. Hi, Becky. Guess what I found? But I don't know what. Oh, I know where they are. I know where they are. So, yes, nothing smells like leather. <laughs> I'm telling you, she's a witch. Actually, she did not know this about me. That I don't normally cross over because of my shoulders, and I'm constantly having to readjust. But look at this. You don't have to wear it as a crossover, but look at this purse. This purse is in perfect condition. And, of course, there's purple on the lining. She's such a witch. I love this. I love this. Hi, Leticia. And this is going to be so comfortable because, look, you guys, I don't have to wear it like this, but I can, okay? Look how thick this is. I love a nice canvas strap 
on a leather bag because it's thick and it won't hurt my fibro. Hi, Lily. Hi, Anita Fanita. So, Anita, I did, hang on, let me pull my pants up. I did a opening party on your um, Alex and Ani bracelets that I got from you. Okay, let's see. I wonder what purple thing is in this box. Yeah, nice spell. Ain't that the truth? You guys, I got some such nice things. Okay, thank you for not folding this. Because, you know, she goes, you know, I can fold this up, you guys, and fit it. And I'm like, no, don't fold it. I don't like my bags folded. But look at this, okay? So it's got cheetah lining. But look at this. Okay, usually I don't go for... Um, chain because it hurts my shoulder but this does not have i'm going to try and go to smaller bags which is why i got this because believe it or not this is a smaller bag for me and check this out isn't that cute i love it and it's got this so it's not going to hurt my shoulder love it love it love it i'm trying to downsize a little bit in my purses Oh. Oh. oh, okay. I wonder what purple thing is in here and in here. And thank you for sending the boxes with the gorgeous little tape on them. Oh, my God, you have excellent penmanship. Oh, I love you too. I'm not going to read that for the class. Put this in my bubble wrap box. Yes, I have a bubble wrap box. Okay. Here we go, guys. Hey, Thelma. Where's my coach wallet? Did I miss it? Or is it in one of these boxes? Maybe it's with the peacock. Oh, this is more gorgeous in person. Oh, it's right here. Just never mind me. Okay. I got it right here. What do you call this again, Thelma? What do you call this again? Oh, my gosh. This is gorgeous. Okay, I'll show this to you. Lemoji. Yeah, I'll be asking you that again later. Look at this, you guys. Look at the carving on these beads. Look at that. Can you see? Well, I know you can see it with this kick-ass camera Alice got me. Now, wait. Wait for it, guys. Look at that. Now, explain. This is... This is... Um, Somebody explain to me the process on this. This is on. I have it saved as a as a word document. Oh, here, let's do this. Hey Siri, could you please explain what a piece of jewelry called Limoge is? Limoges porcelain. Okay, well, that's the jewel. That's the dishes. Anyway, 
It's a certain process painting on porcelain. But it's gorgeous. This is absolutely gorgeous. I love this. I love this. I love this. Oh, my God. I almost feel like this needs to go on someone regal. Like I'm not regal enough to wear this. This was a piece that I bought. Hello, Lynn. Hi, Lily. This was a piece that I bought, you guys, because I wanted to learn about the process and, you know, what it what it is, what it looks like, what it feels like, what, you know, to actually own a piece of it. Oh, gosh. Okay, so I should take some of this other stuff off. Oh my gosh. So <clears throat> this is one of the finer things that I own, you guys. This is so gorgeous. Hold on. I can't get this off. I feel like I'm going to break it. So I'm too excited. I'm too excited. <sighs> Take a deep breath. I'm getting overwhelmed. Okay, so this even looks good with the shirt that I have on, you guys. This is a pink shirt. I love this. Oh, my gosh. That's gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. Look at it. Oh, my gosh. It's so gorgeous. I love it. I love it. Okay. This must be. Thank you, Lori. It is gorgeous. I can't believe Thelma parted with it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay. You know how you guys know how I'm always coming on glass pendants, right? Well, Thelma has a collection of glass pendants, and I've sent her some glass pendants as freebies and stuff, as love gifts, and it does, she, well, you, she knows I like peacocks now. This does remind me of a peacock. I am so wearing this. This is so peacock. It has a green and gold sparkly background in all of those colors and leaves. Thelma, you know me so well. Focus. Focus. Give it a minute. There we go. Isn't that gorgeous? I've never seen one like that either. Aww. It's true. When you give, you receive, you guys. You really do. Now, had I gotten this, I wouldn't have given this out, but <laughs> because it is like a peacock. Oh, my gosh. You know, I sold glass pendants in my auction, and as I come upon them, I like to gift them, but I, I'm starting to, like, not want to gift them because I want to keep them. I love that. Thank you, Thelma. Thank you so much. You know me so well. And then, hi, Dia. Dia, look. I got a limoge. I got a limoge, Dia. Mm-hmm. You're going to have to watch the replay and look at the carving and everything in this. Oh. It's gorgeous, Dia. I love leather. <sighs> <sighs> Like leather. Okay. How would somebody actually like oh, like snort something up in their nose? Because that just bothered me. Like how would you really oh, snort something up in your nose and have it go into your nasal cavity? Oh, I'm such a druggie. Okay, this is my coach my coach wallet. I've never had a coach wallet before. I've always wanted a coach wallet. Oh, 
Look how pretty. There's the little coach. I love this. I love this. I love this. It's not huge. It'll fit in my smaller purse. It's not a coach now because you know I carry a coach. The last like five purses I've carried have been coach. So cute. I only paid 24 bucks for it. Which is paying for me paying up for something, but love it. Since I, you know, nothing I bought from Thelma is like flippage. It's like mummage. Hi, Joanna. My husband's going to be home soon, so. Okay, I got a lot. Because the witch was throwing up. Sorcery, I'm saying, saying sorcery. She was throwing up sorcery. Okay, let's start with this. My coral bracelet or coral necklace. Now I do have an authentic coral necklace that I got. Oh look, it comes comes with free bonus hair. That's always a bonus. That's good luck. That means the piece was worn and loved. That I got on my honeymoon in Mexico. Or no, the Bahamas. The Bahamas. But I'd never seen Cora like this. And so I thought, okay, I have to get this. Because it's a learning piece. And it's gorgeous, right? See that hair? See that hair right there? So much good luck. Check this out. Is that not unique and different? And when you look at the coral up close, I mean, like, now I, I can, I because I have pieces that are fake, you know? You can definitely tell the real from the fake now. So... Yeah. Husband's home. Oh, Thelma. The Jade Bracelet. It looks like they repaired it really, really well. I knew this wasn't going to fit me. How do you unhook it? Oh, I knew this wasn't going to fit me, right? Oh, well, it's tight. It's too tight. But again, this is a learning piece. This is Jade. Now, I didn't know the real Jade when I had it, let alone like this kind of Jade. So that clasp. So, yes, it has a crack in it, but that's okay. That's how I got it for a super cheap price. It's a learning piece. I'm never going to get rid of it. Plus, it's from Thelma. Come on. So, I don't know what color you would call this. Thelma says it's jade. It's jade. Now, I don't know enough about jade, clearly. But, because I had the most gorgeous dark green jade. But, this is really cool. And this is actually, you can, it's like translucent, so you can like see things in it. So this will be really good to look at under my little, my little microscope, my handheld little microscope I got. So... This is a good learning piece, which is why I got it. Again, like I said, learning piece, learning piece, learning piece, pieces that I can own and love and cherish and learn from. Yeah, I know it comes in lots of different colors and um, it 
Yeah, I've seen a piece of purple jade on a YouTube video. I swear if I ever see purple jade, I will crap my pants. No, you don't need this jade bracelet, Debbie, and you're not getting it. Nope. I'll make a, I'll wear it around my damn neck before you get it. Nobody's getting it. I'm telling you. Okay. <gasps> Perla? We need to do a Google Hangout so I can see it. And then I got this. <clears throat> well, it doesn't want to agree with me, but I got this purple pendant. Or, I mean, I got this butterfly pendant. Oh, my gosh. I don't know where my sweet spot is. I better learn where it is before Tuesday. My auction's Tuesday, guys. Isn't that pretty? Let me just play. I'm going to play for a second. Oh, well. I don't have the patience today. I'm not feeling real hot today. This is the piece that she got me on. I was resisting really, really good, you guys. I was resisting really, really good, really well about this piece. I was like, nope, not going to get it. I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to get it. It was $15. It's 925 I thought, nope, I'm not going to get it. She's not getting me. Nope, the witch is not getting me. And then at the last minute, she got me. 925. I look at it as a, as a shooting heart, like a shooting star heart brooch with, um, I want to, I was going to say, what are the stones that are on this, Thelma? I thought you said marcasite in the auction, but they look Aurora Borealis. I think it's just Aurora Borealis. Rhinestones. But isn't that pretty? She got me. As she always does, she got me. Yes, Leticia. Well, you know. Oh, you want me to get it out? We can test it. I can do that. You're talking about this one? Who's this by? This is the one she's talking about, guys. I can't read it. I, you guys, my fibro is really bad today, and my vision is blurry. And I'm a little grumpy today. I'm sorry. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, so gorgeous. Oh. If I ever wanted to wear it as a pendant, I could just put the chain. <sighs> Hi, Pat. It's not Easter yet. Thank you. Yeah, I'm over 600 subs now. Woo, 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 woo. I got a ways to go, though. I got to get to 1,000. Where's my gem tester? I literally, you guys, have got junk up here like crazy. Like, oh, my God, I've got so much junk up here. Thanks for popping in, Pat. I love it. And thank you for the books, Pat. I love them. I'm about halfway through one of them. And thank you for the list. I have read and read and reread your list. Oh, yes, Pat. We will always be friends. Always, always, always. I 1438 you, Pat. If you guys don't follow, follow Pat D72, he's funny. He's so funny. 
He's a bug whore. I love Bugsy. Pat was generous enough to send me some love mail of some books and some inspirational um, messages. And because he is a very loving individual, and I appreciate him so much. He is a very kind and funny as all can be guy. If you guys think I'm hilarious, go watch him. Because he is funny. Like he could go do stand-up funny. Okay, so while we're waiting for this to warm up, which doesn't take long, let's look at my purple. 925 ring. Look at this, you guys. Is that not gorgeous? Look at it. Look at it. And that's the finger that it's meant to be worn on. Right there. Um, Thelma, I love how you put the prices on your bags so that I can remember how much I paid for things. I appreciate that. Happy Easter to everyone. I will be going to my mom's for Easter tomorrow. My husband's not that happy because he likes to have a big Easter dinner and everything here. But I'm going to go to my mom's for Easter tomorrow. And then if, if he wants a big Easter dinner, you know, we can have one later in the day. But I'm going to go to my mom's tomorrow. My brothers and sisters are coming over. Okay. So this is warmed up now. It only takes about 30 seconds. But I'm going to finish showing you what I got here. This was so gorgeous, you guys. And... I know I always say that I like to clean patina off things, but I don't think I'm going to clean the patina off of this because it's got so much of the the 925 writing and everything on the back. I don't want to... I don't know. I just kind of like the patina. Isn't that gorgeous, you guys? Gorgeous. Okay. So now we're going to test this because Miss Thelma thinks that this is a real, real gemstone. So let's see. Are you ready, Thelma? And this ring is so heavy, it keeps turning... Well, it's a little big on my finger, but. All right, here we go. Everybody got their fingers crossed? Wouldn't it suck if the stream died right now? Damn it. Quartz, amethyst, citrine, chrysophrase, or whatever, emerald, nephrite. What did you think this was? A sapphire? Whoops, it's not in the sapphire. Urgh, tanzanite, aqua. So it could be tanzanite, aqua, well, chrysophrase, chrysophrase, how do you pronounce that? Emerald, nephrite, quartz, amethyst, citrine. And now it's in garnet, tourmaline, iolite. So it could be one of those. So out of those choices, what do you think it is? 
It's C H R Y S C P R A S E. If I can keep my damn pen on it. Yeah, so it's one of, let me look it up. Thank you, Dia. She is beautiful, which makes it hard that I can't see her. Okay, so let's look this stone up and see what it is. C-H-R-Y-S-O-P-R-A-S-E. Well, that's one of the reasons why it makes it so hard to see her. So, okay. Maybe I should put blue with it? All the pictures are coming up green. But that's the word. So it must not be that. What how what color is nephrite? Is there blue emeralds? No, oh, nephrite's green too. Let me do nephrite blue. It's probably a blue quartz then. Yeah, I will, Thelma. Oh, there is blue. There is blue nephrite. Blue nephrite. So that's probably what it is. It's probably blue nephrite. So that's a plus. I'll do some more research on it, babe. Yeah, I have I've got a few pieces that I want to take to a jeweler. See how much it'll cost to appraise and stuff like that. And um you know, go from there. I'm going to have to take my contacts out to read this. I can read the sterling part, but... Yeah, I'm... Let me get one of my other little ones out. I have so much to learn about gemstones, but I'm willing to learn. This is not as powerful as of, um, I got these just for, for travel and for, um, one in each vehicle, one in each purse. Cause I have several purses. Um, hmm, yes, I can see it better with this, with my contacts in. I see you. What would it look like if I did that with two? Oh, thank you, Dia. I do. If I'm if I'm going to sell it, I want to know about it. Do you know what I mean? That's why I have so much love and admiration for you, Dia, because you so joyfully and generously answer my questions. And Thelma, who so generously answers my questions, not always so joyously. Depends if I call her when she's working or she's sleeping. 
But Thelma loves me very much, so she answers my questions too. But thank you, Dia. I do. I have the desire to learn. Do I have something in my eye? Ooh. My nose. Uh, mm. Okay, too much fun. Too much fun. I got a bag of 10 of these, okay? I bought 10 of them. And it's because I want... That's why. So when I drop them and break them. I want Mr. Magoo. I want one for each purse. I want two or three for in here because you know I lose everything. And I want one for each car. I want one for my sister's car, one for my mom's car. So if we're out, I know I always have a, a glass. Aw, you were in a bad mood. I love you so much, Dia. I really, really do. You are one of my all-time favorite people. You are. You're one of my all-time favorite people. Thelma, thank you so much for such wonderful quality pieces. You, you sell. I mean, I got some of the least expensive items in your, in your auction. And they are of the utmost quality, Thelma. I mean, everything I got from you is just top quality merchandise and you have the goods sister you have the goods so thank you for that so if you ever go to Thelma's auction and you're just not sure what you're going to get just know it is going to be the bomb quality because you guys know I've been into silver. I've gotten a lot of silver pieces. And, I mean, that's Barb going on Grumpy's fault. She's the witch that got me hooked on silver. No joke. But, because I got my very first silver piece from Barb. Oh, my husband's home. Gotta go. But, Thelma, such high quality. This is so gorgeous. I think this is one of these pieces I will never let go. I will never let this go. The coral maybe someday, but I'm so happy that I got this because this is such a learning piece for me. I will learn so much from this piece. I think I probably will always keep this. And this, I will always have this forever. So thank you for that. And thank you for my, my uh, peacock glass pendant gift that you gave me the butterfly we all know that's who that's gonna probably end up going to this i'm going to put add to my butterfly collection that will be auctioned and thank you so much my love for my wallet and for my purses truly 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 magnificent so in my ring oh my god this ring this will never leave my finger. Well, it'll leave my finger, but it's not going to leave my possession. All right, guys, I have to go. I've got to go. Mwah. I love you. I love you so much. I love you all. And I will see you maybe later tonight. I'll do my haul video, okay? Um, because I got so much stuff. It's not even funny. So much stuff. So, okay, guys, I will catch you all maybe later tonight. Mwah. I love you. 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 Mwah. Bye, guys. And thanks again to Thelma, who's the real shit when it comes to auctioning off jewelry. And to Autumn Grace. And to Rebecca, my cozy nest. Couldn't think of my coziness for some reason. Thank you all. Debbie, I will call you later. Don't you worry. I will call you later. Mwah. Love you guys. Bye.